Hi there. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to use Leonard for LinkedIn to send hundreds of personalized connection requests automatically. All you need to do is log into your LinkedIn account, and after that, click on the Leonard icon, and then click on Connect. Leonard will automatically detect whether you have Sales Navigator activated into your profile. If not, it will send you to the LinkedIn search, and you will be able to use the features exactly the same. But in this case, because I have Sales Navigator activated, it sent me automatically to it. The only difference between LinkedIn Search and Sales Navigator is really the number of different options that you have for narrowing down a search criteria, as well as other things such as saving leads and saving searches and things like that. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to do a very basic search. I'm going to select Second Connections. I'm going to put in uh, United. Oh, I'm going to put in Hong Kong as an option. I'm going to select uh, companies with 11 to 50 employees. And that'll do. It, you have to use your own criteria to find the different people you want to connect with. Once you've done that and you're happy with the search results that you've got, now we are ready to send hundreds of connection requests. All you need to do is click on connect and the pop-up window will appear. You have a number of choices here that I'll explain how to do. The first one is how many profiles you want to send in this session. Depending on your membership level with Leonard, you would have different options on how many, but in order to change the amount, you can use the scroller. You can double click on the number and type in how many you want to send or you can use the arrows to move up and down how many you want to send. Once you've selected that, the next thing to choose is the actual message that you want to send to them. Unlike the general generic message that LinkedIn sends, which is not personalized, then it allows you to send personalized messages in order to build a more warmer introduction to that connection. So the first thing that you need to do is choose the connection invitation message and from the pull down you can choose a custom message or a template that will be available from your CRM. In a different video I will show you how to add all these different templates but for the purposes of this video I'm going to show you how to add a custom personalized message. You click on custom and a text box will appear and in here you type in what the message you want to do. To personalize it you need to either click or type in this code for the first name and you have the option for last name and more options will become available soon and you type in whatever message you want be great to connect with you regards Martin. that is how you would that is the message they will receive instead of getting a generic message once you've selected that you can move on to the new connection welcome message now this is a unique feature to, uh, that's available to Leonard. And what it does is sends a automated thank you message to welcome them once they've accepted you in their network. So once they receive the custom or the personalized message that you sent to them and they accept, they will be receiving this message. And it's a great opportunity for you to continue to build a conversation, build some rapport, and also potentially add some calls to action such as come and visit my website or I would love to add you to my uh, LinkedIn group or whatever other options you want. Similarly to the connection invitation message, you either choose from a custom or a template. And in this case, I will use another custom one just to show you how to do it again. Hi, well, thanks. First name for accepting my invitation look forward to staying in touch and that's what they will receive after they've accepted the connection the last two things that you need to think about is whether you want to add some tags and the tag feature is not the general sales navigator or LinkedIn tag feature it's actually a Leonard CRM tag feature and it's very helpful to be able to assign tags to individuals to to be able to track where they are or where they come from or whatever the next step you want to do you can for example add a tag that just select shows what list they came from or 
what country they came from or whatever you you have endless opportunity to choose and these are get all added to the templates in a CRM but for the purposes of this tutorial I've added a bunch of random ones and you can add a multitude of tags at the same time the last thing you need to uh, consider is whether you want to use or send connection requests to premium profiles only. Now, premium profiles are those that have a yellow LinkedIn logo. This means that it's an upgraded and a paid account and means that they're a power user. Power users of LinkedIn are people that are using it more frequently, more than once a week, are more likely to not only receive your connection request, but to accept it. Because if you have someone that doesn't have it, they may not have used LinkedIn for many, many years. Therefore, your connection request is going to be actually wasted. For the purposes of this tutorial, you'll see that by selecting it, it will skip people that don't have a LinkedIn premium profile and only send connection requests to those with a premium profile. But if you uncheck it, it'll send it to everybody in your search in sequential order. What we need to do now is click on send and it will start sending it to all the premium profiles. You will see that they turn yellow whilst it's sending the connection requests and it will turn green once it's sent. Another interesting feature that we've built for LinkedIn is the use of artificial intelligence to learn how to actually send this connection request, mimicking how you actually do it manually. Leonard, once installed, will learn how you actually use LinkedIn and use that to mimic that behavior and to not be looked at or seen by LinkedIn as a bot. It would use a sequential time between 4 to maybe 15 seconds per profile, depending on how you would have actually sent it manually. The last one was sent within 6 seconds. In this particular case, now it's going to be sent in 13 seconds. It's actually trying to mirror how you actually send it manually. And in this way, avoid LinkedIn banning your account or stopping it from working because it, you're using a bot. Another feature that you'll see is that it, it gives you a running count. And this running count uh, shows you how many are being sent at any given time. Especially when you send it hundreds at a time, it's good to know when, uh, what stage they, the process is at so you can go back to using Sales Navigator or LinkedIn. One more thing that you can do, if you wanted to stop the process, you can just click on stop by clicking on the icon, uh, the extension icon, and then click on stop. To prove to you that all of these messages have been sent, you go to LinkedIn profile, you go to my network, you go to manage all, you go to sent, and here they are. These are all the connection request you just sent. Mind you, if you left it and you did a hundred, you can just leave it running and it will automatically do it for you. I hope this has been helpful to show you how to use this tool and this particular feature. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email us at support at meetleonard.com.